A program for students that combines entrepreneurship and philanthropy is a growing success across Christian schools in Melbourne's East. Project 10, the brainchild of Sally Tracy and Melissa Pond, is now in its third year and teaches Year 8 students how to plan and carry out their own fundraising efforts for a great cause. The idea is that kids start with $10 and it may be a donation from a parent or their pocket money or some sort of sponsor and then they do something to make it bigger. So they might buy a bucket and sponge and wash cars, they might make ingre buy ingredients and, and have a cup and cake store. Uh, really we want them to come up with the ideas and then the profits that they make are donated to Opportunity International, which is a global microfinance organisation. And we particularly support a youth apprentice scheme in Ghana, uh, which helps young people in Ghana get trained for a skill and then given the seed money to um, start their own businesses. So we love the idea that we've kind of got kids modelling microfinance. Uh, they're, make, they're becoming little mini social entrepreneurs to give money to microfinance uh, projects overseas. Recently, students from Camberwell Grammar, Camberwell Girls Grammar, Fintona Girls School and Presbyterian Ladies College combined forces to raise a whopping $15,840, beating last year's total of just a few dollars shy of $10,000. This is a way of getting those students together and giving them an opportunity to meet and get to know each other and make friends, but at the same time do something really great um, and work in groups and um, basically raise money for a really good cause. So as long as they have a great time and they learn a heap along the way, um, that's really our ultimate goal. Early on, the students are shown how their lives differ from those the program helps through a simple board game. Students roll the dice and move over the Australian board and then play again on the Ghanaian board. With squares such as 12th birthday, drop out of school, miss a turn and need to work in fields to help family go back one space, the game highlights the disparities between the two societies. It's really important that they see that in destination and that they, they, they understand that what they're doing while it's fun um, and you know um, they're having a great time meeting new people, it also equally is having a really great effect um, at the other end. After this, the students are taught the essential planning and organising skills needed to run a fundraiser and given any assistance they may need. The only stipulation is that they can only begin with a $10 investment. It's really kind of good business training for them, thinking about, well, how can we maximise profit? What are the problems we're going to have? Um, what's uh, going to be the best thing we can do to make money? So they're getting a lot of, they're using a lot of skills and, and learning a lot along the way, as well as creating something they're giving to other people. The most recent event saw a number of interesting and lucrative enterprises begun out of the initial $10, including sausage sizzles, hot chip stands, and the old fundraising classic, sweets. So far we've sold things within spoons, uh, we've sold shoving sticks, we've got a guessing jar, uh, we're selling popcorn today, and the girls are doing a bake sale. This year, some 260 students across the four schools took part, a great number considering involvement is entirely voluntary. Harry, Jack and Will's group alone raised $730. We've, we've done fundraisers before but we organised this and we learned how to do it. It's pretty nice to have a feeling that you know that you've helped somebody out. Yeah. And I guess we, we don't really do that, that often as we're kids but it's really good to do it just time and time again. And for their part, the schools involved have been delighted with the outcomes for their students. Rob French from Camberwell Grammar says that not only do they get a chance to hone their entrepreneurial skills and develop a sense of social justice, but that it also gives them a chance to enjoy social interactions with other school students. The coordination and the teamwork's a really good experience for them. And then I think just underpinning the whole thing is that this is just a wonderful cause and um, right over there in Ghana, you know, a long way from where we're sitting here, um, there's some people who are benefiting from this, so I just think that the dual uh, you know, purpose of it has become really healthy just to have the social and the entrepreneurial skills students are developing here but at the same time we're encouraging them to think outward and think of where their money's going and think of what the ultimate cause is.